Hello everybody. Welcome to number one doctor channel. Today we will talk about one of the famous doctors. Henry Pankost, 1875-1939. Pankost's tumor of the lung apex. Henry Pankost was perhaps the most outstanding of a small group of physicians in the early years of the 20th century who combined the newly evolving sciences of radiology and radiotherapy. His name today is eponymously attached to the tumors situated at the apex of the lung. In 1924, Pankos presented a paper in the Journal of the American Medical Association entitled The Importance of Careful Rontgen Ray Investigations of Optical Chest Tumors in which he reported three examples of what seemed to be a new entity among intrathoracic tumors. In 1932 he was able to add details of four more patients. These tumors occurred in the optical region of the lung and presented with pain around the shoulder and down the arm, Horner's syndrome, suggesting invasion of the cervical sympathetic chain and atrophy of the small muscles of the hand. Radiologically, there was a small homogeneous shadow at the lung apex, always local rib destruction and often vertebral infiltration. Death occurred as a result usually of what seemed to be a comparatively small growth without detectable radiological metastases. Pankos postulated that the tumor, which he labeled superior pulmonary sulcus tumor, might arise from some embryonal rest. He suggested treatment to be radiation followed by radon implants inserted at surgical exposure. Nowadays, these tumors are regarded as bronchial carcinomas arising at an atypical site. Henry Pankos was born in Philadelphia in 1875, the son of a physician. He qualified in medicine at the University of Pennsylvania in 1898. After a period as instructor in surgery, he entered radiology and was appointed skiographer at the University Hospital, Philadelphia, in 1902. From his earliest days, he set up a careful cross-index of the pathology of his cases and published a large series of clinical-slash-radiological reports. In 1912, Pankos was appointed president of the American Rontgen Ray Society and became the first professor of rontgenology in the USA. He was one of the pioneers of radium therapy and served as president of the American Radium Society. His other interest, apart from neoplastic diseases, was the pneumoconioses. Thanks for watching hope to see you again in more next videos. With my best witches. Dr. 8 Fomid.